Certainly, I Whisper Love by Jim Larwell is a poignant exploration of love, vulnerability, and the human condition. In this evocative poem, Larwell weaves vivid imagery and raw emotion to convey the complexities of affection. Let's delve into the verses. I whisper love into your ear with the cool breath of spring as nestling feathers tickle your neck. I whisper love with a forked tongue and cold-blooded words that slice like a razor at the trunk of a tree. The poet juxtaposes tenderness with sharpness, revealing love's dual nature, the gentle touch of spring and the cutting edge of truth. The act of carving away bark symbolizes vulnerability, exposing the core of our emotions. I whisper love as I crawl out of my skin, only to tie it in a rubbing knot before spinning it. whisper love when a small hand pulls my finger and I look down into the eyes of a child holding a plastic skeleton. Her body little more than a battleground for cancer and chemotherapy. Her Halloween smile mocking death and my own Here, love intersects with mortality. The child's innocence contrasts starkly with illness, emphasizing life's fragility. The juxtaposition of Halloween and fear adds depth to the narrative. I whisper love past the velvet leaves of your naked seeing self with the prayer that forces its way into your womb where I hope to bind one love with another. The intimate connection between lovers is portrayed as a prayer, a sacred act. The imagery of leaves and womb evokes growth and transformation. I whisper love across the graveyards of children into the dry eyes of grieving mothers who stand upon a world without divinity. I whisper love in the late night as I read the sonnets of Shakespeare, my tears punctuating his vain hope to resurrect his son with words as I slap the face intellectuals who mediate poets in the same way scientists mediate the word of God. Larwell references Shakespeare, emphasizing the power of language. Tears and intellectual conflict reveal the struggle to reconcile love and loss. I whisper love as I walk across a bloodless pond where you discover the twisted and dismembered arteries of a stump sinking deeper and deeper into the willowed mud. The pond becomes a metaphor for emotional desolation. The stump's dismembered artery symbolize broken connections, sinking into despair. I whisper love as I think of Mayakovsky and his love for Lily Brick and how that love turned into a bullet that in an instant 
instant ate through his heart like this worm that now daily chews its way deeper and deeper into the frozen wood of my chest. Mayakovsky's tragic love story becomes a haunting echo. Larwell's chest, frozen and gnawed by love, mirrors the pain of lost passion. I whisper love, now knowing that the vibrations of my own shouting voice tore the leaves from the trees and covered the world in a blanket of white regrets. The poet acknowledges the impact of words, their power to wound or heal. The fallen leaves evoke regret and loss. I whisper love in the hope that all I have preserved with ice and anger will one day thaw and will bloom into the light again. Despite pain, hope persists. The thawing ice symbolizes renewal. A chance for love to bloom anew. I whisper love when I run my finger over the fruit of your decaying lips, their shape seeming to explain all of my life and future existence. The tactile image of decaying lips reveals both intimacy and impermanence. Love lingers even in decay. I whisper love when my semen becomes lost and confused, attacked in the dark by the predator words lying deep in the virile crevices of our fleshy membranes. Raw desire and vulnerability collide. The struggle to express love amid inner turmoil. And I whisper love to you, my love, in all the silent cells of your body, my melting marrow, an empty caress of wrinkles, where I carve an epitaph with the fiction of my peeling skin, a small flakes are swallowed into the termination of a puffing wind. The poem concludes with a visceral, intimate plea. Love transcends physicality, etching an epitaph on the skin. I whisper love is a homage to Milton Acorn, resonating like a distant wolf's cry carried across time and space. Jim Larwell's words linger, inviting readers to explore love's intricate tapestry. Feel free to explore more of Jim Larwell's chapbooks, including Escape from Love, which delves into relationships and memory dynamics.